Hey there fellow makers, guess what, we took the plunge and got ourselves a brand new toy, uh, I mean tool, the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max. Big shout out to the folks over at uh, Aurora Tech for their amazing 3D printer ratings, because let's be real, we were lost in the endless sea of options. So why this beast? Well, it's gonna be a lot bigger than some studio apartments. 88 liters, whopping half a meter on its longest side. And guess what? It didn't break the bank. Just about 400 euros on Amazon.fr. Well, it's not exactly fresh off the production line. Hello, Cobra 3. It's new to us. We were all set for our second big print and then BAM! The dreaded faulty motor cable issue hit us. Turns out this isn't just bad luck, it's practically a rite of passage for Cobra 2 Max owners. Thankfully, any cubic support was quick to send a replacement. But of course, Christmas delivery cows turned fast shipping into a better late than ever. What's the plan? This printer has two main missions, lampshades and concrete molds. For the molds, we thought about going fancy with TPU for usable flexibility. But when we looked at PLA prices, bulk PLA for under 10 euros per kilo, simple disposable mold it is. Plus, with only 200 to 300 grams of filament per lamp, why complicate things? To keep our PLA happy and dry, we grab a small filament dryer. It's no fast gadget with a manual so short it's basically a post it note. Silicon gel is optional, but hey, we're not exactly living in the tropics here. Let's talk speed, or the lack of it. This printer is like a cheater stuck in traffic. 0.4 mm nozzle it comes with is painfully slow for big projects. Case in point, this medium sized lampshade took about 14 hours to print, so naturally we have the AliExpress, the treasure trove for all things cheap and weird, and snagged bigger nozzles 0.6, 0.8, and 1 mm in both brass and hardened steel. Total cost about 12 euros for 18 nozzles. Worth it? Absolutely. Changing the nozzle is pretty easy. Just remember hot metal parts. But here's the thing finding a printer profile for a 1mm nozzle mission impossible. So we asked our modern day dead chat GPT. The settings it sped out weren't perfect, but they were close enough to tweak an orca slicer. Here's a sneak peek at our flow test and little spiral based test with any cubic white PLA. On those settings, just let me know in the comments. So, what's next? There are just first steps in the role of big nozzles and epic prints. There is a lot more experimenting ahead, so make sure to stick around. And remember, Happy making, happy creating, and may your prints never work.